Why, hello, all of you good people. Welcome back to Dark Souls Remastered on Playframe. We're in Honorlando. We beat the two... You know who I'm talking about. Dan Jones is here with me, <laughs> and we're going to have some fun. Because now we can get ourselves a Lord Vessel and warp around. That's going to make life easier. Here's a bonfire. Light. <laughs> <laughs> the game had got convenient for us. <laughs> that is true. How are you doing? Oh, fantastic. Good. <laughs> Me too. I'm going to open a big old door and talk to a princess who is 100% real. She's totally real. My friend told me she was real, so, I mean, my friend's never wrong. <laughs> I can't remember what strong bad email it was, but that particular line of, she's really, really real. Really, really real. <laughs> it's like a, uh, like a, a person in high school talking about like a, uh, a girlfriend from another school. Oh, yeah, she's hundred totally... <laughs> percent. There she is, though. Oh, chosen undead. I've never joined that covenant, the, uh, I don't even know the name of it. I haven't either. And, I mean, I'm not going to, but... Yeah. I don't know what that covenant does. I'm sure it's just a PvP... I think it's like, yeah, if you, if you, like, uh, you know, destroy her and are in the Dark Realm, I think you're just constantly invaded kind of thing. Mm. By that covenant. I don't, I don't know how it works. I'm assuming it's like a Dark Moon kind of thing. Yeah, probably. I, there are, like, I know there are a couple of Covenants that are more PvE than PvP, but I can't remember if hers is one of them. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, if I said Enter Covenant, which I don't actually want to do, but... Uh, if you... I think if you... Princess's Guard, that's what it's called. Princess's Guard, yeah. Yeah. Look at that empty spot for... A nameless king. Since the day Father His Form did obscure it, that is a very roundabout way of saying he caught fire. <laughs> well, Dad, you know, he, he caught on fire. <laughs> His form did obscure it and whatnot. Anyway. <laughs> uh, what a cool story this game tells. <laughs> like, what, like, I, understatement of the year, I know, but like, Seriously. There's nothing else like it. No, I I agree. There is a... There's a level of just, like, accepting this cool uh, fantasy that is really... Just, I don't know, unique? I don't, I, I, I don't want to say unique because I know other games have done it, but just, it, I, they, they did it well. Like, even talking about, like, the abyss as, like, this you know, creature that manifests into these different forms, like, it's so good in this game, like, ugh. Yeah. It gets you engaged, and it doesn't just feel like video game nonsense that yeah. you just sort of, like, read over and like, yeah, yeah, ho-hum, sure, get me on to the next gameplay thing, please. It it, it feels in the most, uh, non, <laughs> uh, scientific way like you're reading a textbook, but... It's actually happening. Yeah. It intrigues you and makes you care without really the use of characters so much, which is really impressive. Yeah. Like, usually it takes some interesting characters to get me engaged in a thing. And there are interesting characters, but they, like, they're interesting after the fact, once you know what's going on. They're not interesting in the immediate, other than just sort of the intriguing, like, what are, who is this person and what are they about? Do you think that's a factor of, like, the kind of the whole, you know, you gotta work for the lore in Dark Souls? I think so, honestly. Like, because I remember my, like, the side quest playthrough, I got the sense in finding, in finding Gwendolyn, I had no idea whatsoever what I had done or what I was, the significance was that I was doing. I'm gonna get myself just randomly killed by this, uh, giant. I'm not gonna do that, I don't think. Oh, my, my, my sign's on the steps before the giant. Fantastic. Well, I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> run the other way and actually spend these souls first because the next thing that we have to do, I have so little confidence in my survival. <laughs> yeah, get on the elevator before it goes. Oh, too late. If I can join you or not, I have I have the utmost of confidence in you. <laughs> Given how much trouble I'm having just with the giants outside, I, my confidence is low, but I really hope you can join me because uh, we need to fight Lautrec and he rolls deep 
and I have trouble fighting individual characters still, for some reason, so... Because I'm not yet good at the mages. Anyway, let's level up. Uh, let's see. Let's keep cranking that intelligence, I guess. Unless there's something else. Well, let's see. Uh, more dexterity would not hurt for casting speed. More vitality would not hurt for survival. Let, let's hold off on the vitality for now, though I do think I'm going to have to start investing some more points in that soon. Attunement as well, probably. But for now, we're okay. Let's go with this. That's fewer souls to lose when things go bad. So, okay. Now I'm going to head back down and try to find you at the top of the stairs. Sweet. But yeah, like, my appreciation for Gwendolyn and who they are and how interesting their character is definitely came after I had beaten the game and could look up how they fit into the larger plot of the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Totally. Totally. The first time I met Gwen, even, I was just like, oh, he's the boss. I kill him. And then it was like, that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not like I had a vague sense of like, oh, I know that Gwen is important and tied into a lot of things here. And I thought he was dead, but I guess he's here. Oh, also, just like for the sake of talking about it after the fact, hmm. um, in Dark Souls 3, that that final actual final boss fight DLC excluded. That piano. Yeah. <laughs> that you know i never in all of souls and bloodborne history would have expected this game make me emotionally like compromised <laughs> <laughs> and in the middle of a fight too for that matter exactly oh what a moment yeah i i don't want to directly say it in case some person is listening that but well, listen, if they're watching this, it sounds like from the comments that people are very <laughs> interested in us continuing to play Dark Souls co-op stuff. So I think that's probably something that'll eventually happen on this channel. So, yeah, well, when we get to that moment, I'll just scream <laughs> <laughs> and then cry a scream and cry. When you hear the, the gill scream and cry, <laughs> you'll know <laughs> this is the time. OK, like for real, I'm not seeing a summon sign, though. No sign. Hmm. Um, that I don't think I changed the setting, did I? No. Mm, let me double check mine. I don't think I changed that settings on mine either, though. Yeah, I know what it is. After you beat a boss, you can't summon in a zone. Really? Yeah. Is that is that a Dark Souls 1 thing, or is that... I think that's a Dark Souls 1 thing. Well, boo. I wonder if I step outside that zone, if we're back in on Orlando, if I can... Well, maybe not. Hmm. I may be alone in this Lawtrek fight, which is... Unfortunate, but, uh... I think you might be. Well... We'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. And if it goes bad, then I'll try it again another episode, because we got other stuff to do. Ow. Nope. No, thank you. Do not hurt me or hit me, please. Ow. Yeah, I don't know why I attack with my sword anymore. It's, uh... <laughs> it's... It's like a, it's just a stick. <laughs> I'm attacking with a stick. Fear my stick. Yeah. You'll get a splinter. <laughs> no, don't hit me. Splinter is a good sword name. Splinter is a good sword name. Yeah, maybe a little rapier or something. Magic, can you please connect with this giant? I really wish his shield didn't 100% block my damage. That's it's insane. It does it for you in melee too. That's, yeah, that's a bummer. Any heals? Why am I, why am I even bothering fighting this guy? Let's get out of here. Let's run. Don't forget the Black Knight or Silver Knight. Yeah, no, I'm going to uh, <laughs> try to get up on a ledge that I don't think I'll get attacked on. I don't remember someone being up here. If I'm wrong, then, uh-oh. But no, I'm safe. I'm fine. Excellent. Okay, running up this way, and then we'll use the Black Eye Orb from up here. I don't have a lot of Estus, though. You'll be fine. Then maybe I can't use Estus in there. So I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. I used my souls. We're okay. Black Eye Orb. Can't use it here. Gotta move down into the fray, I guess. Cool. That's cool. Can I use it now? You know, like, 
for having her own musical theme, uh, Guinevere, mm-hmm. it's very subtle. Yeah. Like, in the actual game audio. It is. Because it's, like, when I when you listen to it, and you're just, like, on the Dark Souls OST, like, it's so, you know, like, pronounced and regal and triumphant. And then it's just like a, ah. <laughs> <laughs> just soft, gentle little it's chorus. So weak and gentle. Yeah. There's not a lot of gentle choruses in Dark Souls <laughs> overall. They tend to uh, have some bombast to them. There is no way I'm going to win this fight. I don't know what I'm thinking. I believe. You got it. Piece of cake. Yeah. No, first try. We kill him in one hit and whatnot. Uh, there's no way. Uh, heavy soul arrow. That does so little. All right, let's uh, start kiting them up the stairs. Look at me indeed. Lotrek. Nope. Thought there was a, uh, thought there was a stairs there. I'll just run up this other way. You get to hear my exciting narration of my adventures. Oh, no, I love it. It's great. <laughs> Riveting. And here we see Dan. He's going to cast a spell. Let's see if it hits. Hey, how'd you guess? I think it hit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say that one hit. Direct shot on Lautric. Maybe, maybe his mage friend even. Yeah, in some ways this is actually working. In some ways. Okay, I just realized I'm trapped in a corner, though, so that's oh, no. immediately gotten a lot worse, but we'll see. Maybe we're fine. Just do, just do laps around the courtyard. Doing laps. <laughs> yep, nope. There's like a heavy heavy guy and a, a mage guy, right? And then Lawtrick. Yeah, there's a shield and spear dude mm. and uh, Lawtrick. Ow. Darn it. Yeah, I'm going to have to be tactical... Not my strength. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna get hit. Okay, nope. Fine, 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 fine. Kill the mage. Okay, mage is dead. Uh, nice. It'd be so great if they didn't come back. I know they're gonna come back, though. Well, let me run away and use my last Estus. Ooh, boy. What an adventure we're having today on the playframes. Lotric, leave me alone. Get hit. No, get hit. I said. Lotric, stop dodging. You're in heavy armor. You should not be able to dodge that well. <laughs> Shenanigans. Yeah, he he does roll pretty well, doesn't he? A little roly-poly is what he is. Whoa. Roly-poly. Good jump, my man. Ow. Hold still. I'm running. <laughs> run, 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 run. Oh, come on, hit him. Hit him. This is so very scary. <laughs> come on, you losers. I got a lot of trick. <laughs> nice. I can't believe it. Awesome. I cannot believe that worked out. And I got his buddy, too. Wow. Who'd have thunk it? Look at you. I'm so proud. Look at me. Taking a three on one. Emotes. No, oh man, it <laughs> faded out before I could do the emote. Style points somewhat diminished, but whatever. I <laughs> got him. <laughs> now I'm going to run back up to the bonfire because we, uh, we leaving. We out. And I think you can actually warp to Firelink. You just can't warp out until you restore it. I think you're right. That's what I'm going to try to do. Run, run, run. I don't want to, like set expectations from you viewers from here on, right? Like, y'all don't think that I'm going to be playing well from this point on. Okay? Don't... Don't expect that from me. The next time Dan misses an attack, I want you to spam that hate. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized I can probably get Lotrek armor now. Let's see. It should be on the upper balcony where the bonfire is. Yes, there it is. I mean, how do I know? <laughs> <laughs> ah, there it is. I'll never wear that. <laughs> but I have it. That'll look pretty on my wall, I guess. A souvenir. A souvenir, that's right. Like a keychain. 
<laughs> what if there was a Dark Souls Monster Hunter crossover? You made your own house with armor. It sounds real good. And you crafted it out of each ball. Oh my, I'm getting myself excited just talking <laughs> about it. <laughs> it sounds pretty good to me. Oof. I would pay 60 human dollars for that. I would. Let's see. Let me go ahead and use this other soul item so I can just level. Maybe go ahead and get that point of vitality we've been talking about. There it is. Can you imagine the Monster Hunter set for the Gaping Dragon? Ooh. Oh, that'd be really good. Oof. I want it. Like, I'm just looking at the Switch Axe version of that weapon, and oh man, it'd be so wicked. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm surprised now that we mention it, like... Like, Capcom loves doing crossover, cross-promotional events with Monster Hunter. Yeah. I am surprised Dark Souls is one they've never done. It's gotta happen down the road. Surely. As big as the Souls series is now, and I guess it's done, quote-unquote, now, but, like, still. Yeah. All right, let's see. Uh... Let's warp. That's an exciting thing we can now do to the Firelink Shrine. Huzzah! Yay! Oh, hmm. um, fun fact. I I only learned this from testing myself. Um, if you talk to Framp to sell stuff, still, yeah, he will he will bring you down to the Lord Vessel, but you can homeward bone back and then uh, use him for selling stuff. That's excellent. I'm not going to talk to him just to play it safe, but yeah. Just, I'm just going to let him just be this weird snake that lives in my house that I, we never talk about. <laughs> Cuz I accidentally talked to him and I was like, uh, "I guess I should homeward bone back." <laughs> guess I live here now. Uh and then the next time I talked to him, he let me sell stuff. So, all right. Well, let's revive this firekeeper. Please, please, please. Yay, welcome back. Sorry if this is not the fate you wanted. <laughs> welcome back to your cage, though. Please, Thank sir, you. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Anastasia of Astora. I never apologized for having a tongue. My duty as a keeper. You know, I've never had that experience in my life either. I've never felt that that's something that was my fault, right? <laughs> or that I needed to explain or justify to anybody. There's a lot of things that I should apologize for. <laughs> <laughs> Possessing a tongue. a tongue? Not one of them. Not one of them. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, ooh, Sigmire's here. Let's talk to that fellow. Is it Sigmire, though? The I'm pretty sure it is. He's speaking in his... Oh, okay. Trademark low tones, because we've not saved the other, the lookalike. Oh, true, 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 true. Yes. I, that's, uh, that's, it's is that like Duke's archive? That's Duke's archive, so we're a little ways off. Wow, that's a, a ways in the game. Yeah, you, like, kind of forget how long it takes to meet her. Yeah, I, I could have sworn that was, like, way earlier, but, yeah, wow. <laughs> Shame I'll never meet them. <laughs> <laughs> this what an exciting run or what at least an interesting run you are having over on your side <laughs> pretty lonely <laughs> yeah how barren the the shrine must feel <laughs> with literally no one in it or except i guess maybe is your um crestfallen guy still always here and always like <laughs> in the instant you come into town he's like you oh no he was the first to fall <laughs> Oh, it's if you just attack him, he aggroes. If you kill him, he's gone. Yeah. Okay. Because I was just wondering, like, is he just a watchdog who lives in your house? <laughs> Attacked you every time. But nope, he's... Nope, he's... He is gone. Dead. He's dead. Forever. Forever. Does he drop anything if you if you find him in New Londo? You know, we'll find out. I feel like he does drop something, but I don't remember if it was anything of significance. Hey, Petrus, you're back. Why? Uh. Oh, you again? You again. Uh, I've become separated from my lady. I bet you I have. Her near and far, but no sight of her. Where could she have gone? My lady. Oh, uh, Logan should be sitting in a, in a little huddle somewhere. Where is the Logan? There's the Logan. I don't have any, spe like, souls to buy spells from him, but I need to acquire some soon. Look at that big hat. There you are. 
I was expecting you. As promised, what a big hat. I will share my sorcery. Fun fact, don't kill him right then. <laughs> 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 oh. Does not drop the big hat. <laughs> <laughs> you villain. Oh, look at all this stuff here. Soul Spear, Homing Soul Mask. That seems like that's going to be a good old time if I buy it. That just sounds fun. Right? And great heavy soul arrow. Yeah, no, I, I need to uh, save up some souls and come back here later. Heading out, are you? I too will leave soon. Undead or no, I shan't stay here forever. You have great potential. Don't go and die over nothing. No guarantees. Now, where's our next stop here? Let's see. Um, so Sif could be a good stop. That's probably a good idea. Like, oh, I know one stop I need to make. I need to run to Undead Burg real fast to run an errand. But then I agree we should head to Dark Root because there are several things we need to do there. Um, do you think we should tackle, we should go like the route of the, the Crest of Artorius or like Hydra side? Hmm. What's, so I do need to take out the Hydra. I do need to, uh, take out Havel. I still haven't done that. And I need to destroy a certain golden golem behind the Hydra. But we also do need to fight Sif, and I don't know what the fastest way to do all that is. Um, so I think regardless what we do, after we kill Hydra, you have to rest. Okay. Um, because I know on my end, I haven't uh, killed the golden golem. Okay, good to know. Good to know. But we can do all of Dark Root, I think, uh, in, in a fell swoop. Well, that's excellent. So, yeah, let me uh, let me go join a certain covenant. Mm -hmm. And uh, once I have achieved that, we will regroup in Dark Root. Take care of some business. All right, here we are. Let's see. And let's see, I can rest that bonfire. Can I now finally join specific... Covenants. Oh, Solaire, you're here. Hello. Hmm. Uh, oh, hello there. Forgive me. I was just pondering about my poor fortune. I did not find my own son, not in Anor Londo, nor in Twilight Blight Town. Where else might my son be? Lost Isolith, or the tomb of the Grave Lord? But I cannot give up. I became undead to pursue this, but when I peer at the sun up above, it occurs to me, what if I am seen as a laughing stock, as a blind fool without reason? Well, I suppose they wouldn't be far off. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard this dialogue. Well, well, no, I've heard this dialogue in like lore videos. I don't think I've ever actually gotten, met him here before. That's really cool. Yeah, that's actually, uh... Love to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> well, when the video comes out, you can can't enjoy, wait. <laughs> enjoy it yourself. Am I? Is it because I'm in a covenant? Is that the problem? Why am I not able to? Uh, I don't know. Why I'm not able to join this thing. You can't like pray at the statue or anything. Doesn't seem like it. I can rest at the bonfire, which is what it really wants me to do. But I can't seem to pray at the statue. You're going to the the crumbled statue on the. Yeah, I'm trying By both. The grass, right? Like I'm going to the statue of like the woman holding the baby, which doesn't do anything, but also the crumbled uh, statue on the grass, which doesn't seem to be doing anything. Really? Yeah, no prompt or anything. It's weird. And I do have a sunlight medal, I believe. I do. I have seven of them. Weird. That is very odd. Because I mean, I'm welcome in the <laughs> in the covenant. <laughs> and if they let you in, then clearly. <laughs> I feel like I should meet their standards. Yeah, that is very surprising. Huh. I don't know. It is weird, but it's nice knowing I can warp here anytime. So if we do eventually solve the mystery of the why this statue won't listen to me. Oh, what's your faith? There's a question. Okay, uh, my faith is eight. Maybe it needs to be like ten. Yeah, I think it needs to be a bit higher. All right, I will remember that with my next couple levels. So the requirement is 25 minus five for each boss you help kill as a white phantom. I see. Okay. So I don't think I've gotten it. So we need to kill some more bosses is what we need to do. Or I need to help you with some more bosses, I guess. We should be like one away, I feel like. I, th I think you're right. But that's good to know. So we'll, uh, and now we can work back here anytime, which makes 
things just fine. Let's go to Darkroot. Where do you want to meet in Darkroot? Um, I think... I think our best bet might be just outside of that room where the, uh, um, Titanite Demon is. Let's do it. Uh, I think Undead Parish? Yeah. Place? Heading there now. Oh, and then I can show you goodies. Oh, I'm excited to see goodies. You were you were mentioning that you had uh, done some work and accrued some toys between <laughs> between episodes. Okay, I am out uh, at. I got my sign down. Hooray! I haven't seen your character in a week. Who knows what you're gonna spawn in with? <laughs> Who knows? Mm-hmm. What could it be? <laughs> <laughs> One guess. Let's see. Uh, I'm guessing. I have no idea. Like the stuff that I would <laughs> guess, I was off the top of my head, is the sort of a. It's like, oh hey, a full Solaire set. Where would he? Oh. <laughs> or hey, it's Siegmar's armor. Well, I guess you could buy that one, but still though. Still not seeing a sign. All right, let's go ahead and use this Artorius key crest thing and open this here fancy, fancy freaking looking door. Used crest of Artorius, and into the grinding woods we go. Now, let's see if I can find a summon sign. Or a... There we go. We had some trouble. <laughs> We got stuck for a little while there. So one, something we did not know, uh, neither of us knew, but, and Dan Jones only learned it from the comments, is that if you have beaten the boss of a particular zone in your world, you cannot summon anyone there anymore. That's a thing we didn't know. And apparently the Moonlight Butterfly was the boss of that zone. So, well, look at you. <laughs> it's been far too long, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So familiar. All right, so where are we headed now? Um, so we're going to head that way, so we're going to have to kill a bunch of uh, uh, forest folk. But okay. check this out. What are you doing? Whoa! Right? What the, the heck is that? <laughs> it's my secret power. <laughs> what on earth is that? That is cool looking. I, uh, I checked out the old... Uh, Gravelord Covenant. <laughs> Did you now? Out of a curiosity. Oh yeah, that's a neato move. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> that's unfortunate. Um, wow, I uh... Yeah, that guy uh, got me good. Kinda thought you'd live longer. Yeah, me too. <laughs> he kinda parried me. Eh, he might kill me too. This right, yeah. I forgot I didn't have a shield. This is not, it's kind of an embarrassing start. No one saw that. No one saw that. Hmm. Yeah. The, the, the sun was in my eyes. <laughs> so, now here's a thought. Um, if we're going through there, like, is there a way to loop back around to the Hydra from there? Or are you going to disappear? Are you going to be allowed to go back through the Hydra area? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think we might just have to do the Hydra separate. Because... Hmm, that's a bummer. That might be Moonlight. I don't, I don't know where the fog wall appears. That's true. I don't know if I'm gonna. They're gonna allow you to come back, come back there, because you'd have to go back through the crest of Artorius door. Yeah. To uh, get there, so huh. Well, no, we can, we can we can loop around from here because there's that. Remember the the solid snake ladder. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, let's let's see if we can do that. That may just be basically the rest of this episode. Us seeing if we can get through to the Hydra, and if we can't, then oh well. <laughs> let's see here. Do I have any humanity left after Sen's fortress? Oh yeah, don't let me forget. I I'm gonna I got some drop off a bunch for you once we uh, do that thing. Oh, well, you better hold on to it for me because apparently I go through <laughs> it very fast. That's true. <laughs> okay, I'm going back to classic Lady Jingle. Yeah. Just a little bit, of, just a little bit of goofing off there. <laughs> <laughs> It was good goofs. Good goofs. Then you died. And then I died. Yeah. And apparently the forest folk don't play around, so... They do not. This is an excellent spot to uh, farm souls for those watching. 
Very true. Um, so what I tried to do earlier and failed, uh, if you've not played this before, if you can get in through this very expensive door, you gotta pay like 20,000 souls to get the key to get through that door. But if you get in here, even at low level, you don't have to fight and kill everything. You can just lure them back here, walk up these stairs, walk off this ledge, collect your souls, walk off this ledge, wait for them to try to follow you, and then they'll bounce off of your head and go off of the ledge, ideally, or you can try to kick them off the ledge. And they give you a lot of souls if that happens, so. So, uh, fun fact. Oh, mm -hmm. Ivari is invading, but, Ivari, um... we're kind of doing stuff, yeah, Ivari. we're doing a thing. Um, you don't have to run up the steps, you can just walk, and they will, uh, go up the steps themselves. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Cool. Uh, also, got the old butcher's knife back for funsies, because I, I did a little bit of upgrading on it. Ooh. And it's, uh, g guess what plus range it is. <laughs> I'm guessing at least plus 10. Mm-hmm. Are we looking at a plus 15 situation? It's a plus 15. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm very happy. Ooh, wow. He does a lot of damage. He's dead now, Thank though. Thank you. Oh, oh Ivari. Ivari's here. He Hello, Ivari. Fancy... Meeting your butt here. Please die, though. Ivari's dead. Fantastic, I'm getting attacked by this... this dork. Die, though. There we go. He is dead. Against all odds, we live. We lived! Wow, uh, that was really <laughs> good, because I thought Ivari had a backstab on me. Thank you, Ivari, for blessing us with your... Uh, death. <laughs> <laughs> Our track record in PvP is not great so far, especially considering the fact that we're usually two on one. Oh, did you see that move I just pulled on that guy? Whoa, this dude just snuck up on me. Holy cow. <laughs> Moves like Jagger on this fool. <laughs> <laughs> I, I clicked the right stick in to target the person you were fighting, and the lock-on immediately snapped 90 degrees to my right where <laughs> this fool was right next to me. <laughs> that scared me very much. These forest folk are a handful. Stop dodging my magics. It's my one move. I'm gonna get him! I'm gonna get him! <laughs> I'm so happy you're using that butcher knife. It's so fun. Like, what? as clumsy as it looks, it is a, a very fun <laughs> weapon. All right, let's talk to the cat. Talk to the cat. Talk to the cat. Oh, that's a weird looking cat. But cometh thee not for the grave of Sir Artorius? My advice true. Forget this. The legend of Artorias are none but a fabrication. Traversing the dark. Hm. Tis but a fairy tale. Have thine own respect. Cat. Go not yonder mocking <laughs> for nothing, I see. Um, what is my decision? Dan, yes? there's a cat right there. <laughs> that, that sure is a cat right there in that? the window. Do you see that cat? <laughs> Of the dark root wood, I command a pet. Can I have a pet? Wilt thou not join? No. Oh, yes. Aww. Would suit thee well. The uh, um, so you know how there's the kind of like hollow version you see when you're in the uh, other world of NPCs? Yeah. Uh, it's utter terrifying looking at this cat. Really? Is the cat undead? No, it just kind of looks like a water bear. <laughs> Weird. I've that's not a that's a thing I never knew like was the case when being summoned into worlds that like you saw NPCs as these weirdest hollows, not as they're not as the player sees them. Yeah. That's really cool. Like I could still see her uh like geometry, but it's really neat. So, I don't know if we can loop around and get you to the Hydra. I hope we can. Oh, we're, we're still on the right way. Yeah, we are going the right way. It is nice knowing at the very least that we can still team up to fight Sif. <laughs> and... Oh, <whoop>. Mushrooms. <laughs> oh, wait, did, did they play the noise? I think so. <laughs> Brutal. Maybe they don't play the noise, or maybe the little ones don't. Is it the big ones, maybe? Maybe the big ones. Hey, test. 
<laughs> there he goes. There's the noise. Okay, so you just can't backstab him. Let's get you that uh, good ember, though. Where is it? Oh, is there a good ember? The one they're guarding. The two big boys. Oh, the two big ones out in the, like in the pond. Yeah, it's it's somewhere around. Oh, it's here. A, it's uh, this away, I think. Oh, yep, I see him. Yeah, here they are. Honestly, I I like just luring them away. <laughs> they're scary. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that that'll work. I'll let you lure them away. They got one heck of a punch. <laughs> yes, they do. They do either one big or two follow-ups. So I'm like, yeah, wait they. Where they? There it is. They will punch you all the way to death. Yep, they sure will. And come on, come chase me, come swing. All right, I'm going for the chest. Go for it. Running for it. Got it. And we out. Okay, good. So yeah, this is the enchanted ember I need to at least start enchanting magic stuff. I think. <laughs> that was close, my dude. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, there's one. Do they drop anything good for you? Maybe a gold resin? That's a good question. Uh, yeah, gold resin. Hey. Lovely. That is one thing I will never not take. <laughs> That's true. Uh, the thirst, the bloodthirst of the Lady Jingle knows no bounds. She can't be stopped. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we got you here. Should we... Do we fight Sif or is that actually that might lock you out of being summoned for good out here? So let's let's not jump right to that. Let's try to find our way. Let's fight the roly poly cats and get our way to the ladder and see what happens. And if we can't get you in there, then let's just fight Sif and that'll be the episode. There's a key to get. I promise, Carrie, this episode recording was gonna be shorter. That does not prove to be the case thus far. <laughs> oh well. Come on tree magic okay i do not don't I run do not. away i do not want to that's dangerous <laughs> one down two more one down two more glad i have you here you really are just like yep there it is there they are oh hi you're behind us you're both here cool you're both oh really here so here I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a little drinky drink. <laughs> oh, that was. Yeah, how you doing there? <laughs> really scary that they jumped behind us. Uh, no. I agree. 100%. Ooh, nice. You staggered. You staggered with that. That was very nice. The stagger is nice. The bonkers damage you're doing with that thing. Yeah, it's. It's silly. This might be one of my new favorite weapons, though. <laughs> I I don't blame you. That's it's fun to watch. The stun is so good. Uh ha! Oh, double kill! Oh, I thought we got that one. In one as well. <laughs> it's got like no health. There we go. Now it's done. Now it's done. Yay! What? <laughs> oh, the cockiness. Okay. <laughs> Can't be stopped. Can't be stopped. Invincible Lady Jiggle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm very curious here, because it looks I mean it's looking like we can just go. I'm not seeing I see the Hydra. I mean a fog wall. I'm seeing a hydra. Oof. Gosh, that's scary from here. It is actually pretty terrifying. <laughs> it's scarier from a distance, which is weird. Okay, so. Here's what I'm going to do. We're going to get invaded. <laughs> cool. Well, I mean, it went well last time. Maybe. Oh, there's the wall. They'll fall into the water and die. Oh, is there a wall? Oh, boo. Yep, right there. Doesn't let you. Yep, you're right. All right. Well, I'm going to have to fight the Hydra and Havel by myself. That'll be an adventure. Uh... In the meantime, should we make a run for Sif and leave this invader in the dust? Yeah, let's do that. I like that. And hopefully they don't, like, jump, attack, and kill both of us in one fell swoop on this ladder. 
Yeah, it'd be so cool if they didn't do that. Ah, oh, that, that was a moment, and they wasted it. <laughs> it'd be the best if they just didn't find us. We gotta be stealthy ninjas. Stealth. Ninja, ninja, ninja. I really wish I had the, like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> it is a shame you don't get that till the end. Right. Run, run, run. Oh, shoot. They have our number. Do you see him? Running for it. Running for that door. Go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, it's a race. Oh, it's a race. Wait, do you see him? <laughs> yeah, I saw him. They were running for this door. I think they were trying to cut us off. Oh. I think we got here first, though. Open the dang door. I'm not seeing them now. Maybe they're leaving us alone. Open that door, open that door, open that door. Yes. Okay. Let's have a sad fight to wrap up this episode. It's the saddest of fights. Yeah. I don't want to have it. Me neither. Please, Dan. <laughs> I don't want to hurt the puppy. And this coming from the guy who killed literally everybody. <laughs> Please, I don't want to hurt anyone innocent. <laughs> Oh, who knows? Maybe the dog will murder us. That's true. With the huge sword. Ooh. Yeah, that's right, Phantom. Ow! Oh, wow! wow. He, he got you, number. That hurt a lot, Wolf. Hang on, I want to see if I can really just, like, showboat on this guy. <laughs> Showboating, that's what, <laughs> that's what we need. <laughs> yeah, we do. Uh, no. No wolf. Bad dog. I mean, good dog, but like... Don't kill me. Ow. Yeah, I can like, barely survive a single hit against... <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> ...this pupper. Are you kidding me? I had a cool spell, and I wanted to cast... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die. For sure. No! Darn it. <laughs> Ah, uh, this dog is going to kill me. So much. No! Ow. Don't step on me. Okay, find an opening. Dog, come on. Nope. Hold still. I can't hit you with magic when you move. <laughs> this is not gonna go well. I think it's going great. I think one thing that I've definitely proven thus far is that, like, my mage run build strategies are insufficient. And it's a good th re thing I have you here. Ow. Yeah, I feel like this is, a. Uh, it's not gonna work out. <sighs> Ow, in advance. <laughs> I saw it coming. Hell, oh, I just got invaded. Huh, that's fun. Hey! What a... An exciting change. The Chronicles of Riddick invaded me. <laughs> cool. I don't. I, I'm assuming that's what his name is supposed to mean. But I don't love how magic spells just kind of miss most of the time, even when you're locked on. <laughs> it's not fun. I mean, I'll try to attack with the sword, but uh, not expecting great things. Forty-one. A whopping forty-one. Damage is what I do. No. Bad dog. There he is. Here he comes. Mm -hmm. Oh, is this because I pissed off the forest people? I think it is. Uh-oh, he used... He used power with them. That's not good. Ow. Dog, come on. I got invaded again. The forest people really don't like me, huh? <laughs> I wonder. I have two invaders, Dan! What did I do? <laughs> what did I do? Uh, I didn't ask for this! I'm dead. <laughs> it seems like if I get really close into the dog and try to cast spells, it has a harder time hitting me. You kill one merchant. <laughs> <laughs> and his ninja guard. And his ninja I mean, I atoned for that sin. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I confessed. Y'all got nothing on me. <laughs> we got nothing. 
In fact, he got a new Shadow Ninja guard. Seriously. What are y'all complaining about? I'm gonna die. Oh, I heard a <sighs> death scream. Well, I think we're gonna have to call it for this episode, and when we come <laughs> back... <laughs> uh, I guess when we come back, we're gonna try to fight Sif again. Together. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> the together sass. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll, I'll try to deal with the Hydra and all that nonsense. Maybe someone won't die like an idiot. <laughs> Thank you all for watching our amateur nonsense, and we'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> and a wave. <laughs>